Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a nursery organization video. It is all about cleaning, organizing, and decluttering in my daughter's nursery. She just turned one year old, so a little bit of decluttering needs to happen in here, bringing in the new sizes. And I'm also going to be sharing how we store our hand-me-downs. Yes, we do hand-me-downs in this house, our budget does not allow for brand new clothes with every size change because newsflash kids sizes change a lot over a year so we're going to be sharing that and how i store and organize our things let's jump into it first up we are going to start out here in the dresser we are in and out of this thing multiple times a day every day so it gets a little jumbled this drawer i'm pretty happy with even though she's not a baby these little teethers and rattles can give that to her when she's all wiggly and wanting to roll around and so i'm going to keep those handy this we could probably declutter some of the gripe water so i'm going to go through kind of tidy this a bit and then hello miam this is my assistant <laughs> and then we'll keep moving through the other drawers Now we are on to her shorts and onesies drawer. And so I need to kind of declutter some of these things because she is now growing out of these pieces. And it's kind of a jumbled mess because we have things she can wear, things she can't wear, and it's just a hot mess express. And at this point, I'm basically the only one that can get my child dressed without five different no. outfit changes because she's growing through things and only I know what she can wear. So we're gonna remedy that situation by tidying the drawer. A whole lot better. I don't know how or how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down. I might be dreaming. There's no way back now. Also, thank you, hormones, for making me think one minute I'm freezing. And now I'm like sweating, so the cardigan is now going. Come on, show me what you got. Cause Moving over to the right side, this top drawer is just her diaper drawer and wipes, so I don't have to declutter and organize that. That is something okay. we're in every single day, clearly. And so that one just gets restocked all the time. This is her pajama drawer. So we are going to go through this, see which ones she can wear, which ones we don't need. It's July, I don't think we need fleece pajamas, but. And then this drawer is more of a kind of seasonal drawer. So right now it is swimsuits and cover-ups. And then it also has a few of our extra little bits and bobs of diaper changing things, our extra aquaphor, which we can't live without. And then I like to personally keep these guys. These are disposable um, changing pad liners. So when I know I'm going to bring her in here and she has got a blowout situation going on, these are my best friend. I can lay it down and I don't have to worry about getting the changing table and everything really messy. And so this helps so much and then I can just roll it up and throw it away. Also, these are amazing in your car. If you don't have like two or three of these in your car for those situations, you need them. Just 
pause the video and go put some in there. You'll thank me later. Now we are going to move over to her closet. So I have a few things to go through here of just going through and culling any sizes. Some of them she can wear now and then some of them she can't. So I need to tidy that and then I need to just kind of clean this area up. And yes, I do have the largest diaper stash on the planet. So yeah, that is everything from size three to I think five. So we are covered for the next little while, thank God. <laughs> but this is what we're gonna tackle now. And for those of you that enjoy quick shopping links for anything that you're seeing in the video, I will have all of the organizational pieces linked in the description box below for you to check out and be able to snag some things for yourself and be able to help organize your own space. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to this little basket and this one is kind of sad because it is just an era coming to a close but this was my little nursing basket and why there's a lovey in here I don't know but uh, I had burp cloths in here which she's been getting them out and playing with them so they are kind of a jumbled mess but burp cloths and then nursing pads which I no longer need because I'm way past the whole not leaking phase. Some nipple balm, which I'm, I won't need this. What, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna need nipple balm. So I'm going to go ahead and discard that. And hallelujah, thank you Jesus. I am so excited to throw this thing away. Hold on, that's a nipple shield. If you've ever had to use one of these things, you know, <laughs> these struggle bus. <laughs> that involves this thing. Needless to say, I am so glad I get to break up with this thing and throw it in the garbage. I actually forgot I still had this and would have already did the celebratory throw it in the trash. So now I'm just going to turn this into a basket for toys and things. So that's what that's gonna be. I'm probably, let's see, I'm happy with how this is. I may actually, I may sit it right here with this little stack of books and then I can put some other little things in there. I like having little random baskets for her to put things in because honestly, even if it's not for like organization and style purposes, she loves getting that basket down and she will put things in it and then take the things out and then she'll put the things back in the basket and it's just like this whole game of get the things in and out of the basket, which is awesome because I didn't have to buy any fancy toys. It's just a basket, so yeah. Life lesson, don't buy a bunch of toys. <laughs> When 
Excuse me, Will. Come back over here. Hi. Hi. This is what real life cleaning and filming with a baby is like. They're either getting out the things you just cleaned or trying to fight you for the camera. First time I saw you, I knew all the time. It was something in the air the night And in the way you looked at me I get nervous when we get close And my heart fills up with butterflies And then you leave me speaking Alright you guys, so this is the tote that I have With her 9 to 12 month clothes and I did wash them. I do store these totes in our attic space. So obviously it gets hot and cold and steamy. And so I just didn't want to take any chances with it and her like getting some sort of rash because of clothes that got steamy in the attic. So all that to say, I did wash these. They are freshly laundered. So I am going to go ahead and fold them up and put them away in the drawers and just kind of sort and declutter these. So let's get started. <laughs> Instead of keeping it all inside So hard with you, I don't know why Believe me, boy, I've tried, tried When you're near me My heart fills up with butterflies And then you leave me speechless My world turned upside down wanted to quickly pop in and just tell you thank you so much for watching this video no it's not over so don't click out yet but wanted to just go ahead and thank you earlier on in the video I have about seven minutes left so those of you that are cleaning with me you got this about seven more minutes you can tackle a whole lot more it's amazing what you can do in seven minutes just try it but if you are here and you're not cleaning with me and you are just relaxing on the couch and you've had a hard day or you are getting your little serotonin boost of a clean motivation and organization motivation before you tackle your own to-do list I'm so glad you're here and I really appreciate it I love doing mom life with you guys cleaning organizing all the things keeping our homes somewhat tidy and the world at least our little world spinning around so I really really do appreciate it if you are enjoying it no matter watching or cleaning with me I would really appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button down below as well as the red subscribe button if you are new here and you haven't joined my cleaning fam my internet fam I would love to have you here I'm all the time sharing cleaning motivation organizing decluttering and all the mom life in between so I would love to have you in my fam and it literally costs you nothing I'm not charging for my content it is all free so all you have to do is click the red subscribe button to join
Her closet is now all refreshed and ready. It's for fall, end of summer. So we have lots of summer clothes and a few fall pieces mixed in there. But I've got this rod in here and I wanted to share it again. I've shared it so many times, but I always get questions about it. It is a secondary rod. It was less than $15 from Target. I will have it linked in the description box below. But it was great because this closet only came with this one rod in it. And so to give extra storage, that gave me two layers because baby clothes clothes are tiny obviously so that really helped and then freed up some space here in the bottom now moving back over to her dressers this is what her onesie and shorts and pants little area looks like lots more options now we were down to only a few so this will make changing during the day so much easier we have all of her shorts and things here and i just have them in these little drawer organizers which are so so helpful there you have little dividers in them as you can see there so it holds everything in place and it's not falling over and then this is a large Larger divider here and it is actually meant for socks but it works perfect for baby onesies so have that and then some little leggings here along the front but that drawer worked out perfectly and then we are restocked for sleepers because my babies end up living in sleepers a lot of times so that's perfect got a couple of backup sleep sacks over here for any accidents that might happen but yeah we've got that and then this bottom drawer just has her fleece sleepers that are for fall winter time so as the nights start getting a little bit cooler in a few months i'll have those ready these are a couple of 18 month pieces that had gotten mixed in and so i'm just going to put those in the drawer that way they're there whenever we're ready and then her little beanie so that's that and then last i'm going to pop over into our attic area and show you the totes and kind of how i have them labeled and organized and everything and that way you can kind of have some ideas of how to store clothing especially if you have two little ones that can share clothes like us we have our girls and so they share clothes as you saw a lot of those were definitely hand-me-downs for miss bella here and some of them you know how it is with first kid they end up with so much some of those things she didn't even wear so it's like brand new clothes for bella that sister didn't wear but i'm going to pop over and show you that stuff now all right you guys so welcome to our little attic space hello to frosty the snowman over here um but i wanted to share this with you guys i'm sorry it's like one light bulb up there so it's really really dark in this space but um these are the totes that i have when my girls were younger um i would have a tote for each size range like three to six months six to nine months nine to twelve months and everything but now that bella has started growing up and getting into one years there's not as big of a space in between i hope that makes sense but there's not as big of like a size difference between clothes so that has shrunk and now like this one has turned into our shoe tub and so I have shoes that I find on sale really cheap for Lucy and I keep those in there I keep hand-me-downs for Bella and any shoes that I find on sale for her that's where that goes and lives that way I can have some storage and also find good deals to have as they grow into shoes this is sleep sacks here and so this is like different swaddles and sleep sacks um, winter ones for different seasons things like that so that is where i keep those and then this is the 12 to 18 months tub here and then i have an 18 to 24 months tub that is down in lucy's room and that lives in her closet so that as she grows out of things then i have a place to put them so i automatically keep that tote for the size that she's like coming out of in her closet and when I try something on her and it's like oops this is too small for you then I go ahead take it right back off fold it up and put it in that tote and then it's ready to whenever it is full or she is out of that size range that is labeled on the tote then I'll go ahead pack it up bring it up and put it into a storage here so that's just kind of our system and what's working for me and so I wanted to share that for you guys and then I have a couple of other totes over here that I wanted to show you guys but this one is just our winter accessories so hats and gloves I'm sorry I know it's so dark in here you guys and then this is little baby outfits that I liked seeing them in and I just I'm sorry I'm too hormonal to get rid of my favorite outfits right now I can purge some things but I just I'm not emotionally there to purge my favorites so yeah that's where we're at as well as like the bath seat and the baby lounging bath seat I'm just 
I'm not emotionally there yet. Maybe one day, today is not that day. Um, yeah, and then we have obviously other things that get stored in your attic because that's what you do is you store things in your attic. Um, I really should do a attic declutter at some point, but I hope you guys enjoyed that part. And then last but not least, this is the decluttering that I was able to do with her clothes. And then that's also a couple of little baby blankets. We're gonna be passing those along to another family with another sweet little baby girl. So they will get some more love, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Got some decluttering motivation, organization motivation, all the things. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. It helps to let me know you like this kind of video as well as spread it to other mamas who are looking for some organization decluttering videos here on YouTube, as well as if you enjoy this, please hit the red subscribe button down below. Join the fam. We can clean and mom life together. So thank you so much again for being here and I will see you next time. Bye guys.